Hey everyone, and welcome back to Final Cut Pro Thursdays. New Final Cut Pro tutorial videos release every Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a time lapse from a series of pictures right in Final Cut Pro. Just a disclaimer, there's a better and easier way to make time lapses in other programs, but this is a Final Cut Pro tutorial, so I'm going to show you how to do it in Final Cut Pro. I've shot a demo time lapse with my GoPro camera. As you can see, when I open this file, all it is is a bunch of JPEG images. I'm going to take all these images and convert them into a video. First thing I need to do is import all these images into Final Cut Pro. I'll open Final Cut Pro and open the import window. When I select my memory card, only one one second video shows up, but I know I have thousands of pictures on the card. To import them, over on the right hand side from the drop down menu, you have to select photos. I'll select my first image and press Command A to select all images. Notice in the import options, the option to leave files in place is grayed out. When your media is on a memory card, Final Cut Pro will not let you leave files in place. I'll create a new event in my demo library and click Import Selected. Depending on the number of pictures you have, your computer specs, and the memory card speed, this process might take a while. After my import is complete, my next step is to create a new project. I'll click File, New, and Project. A Project Properties window opens up where you can set the settings for your project. Depending on your image resolution, you could easily create a 4K time lapse, but if you choose 1080p, the extra resolution in your images will allow you to zoom and pan on your video. I'll name my project, set all my properties, and hit OK. Now I'll select my first clip, press Command A to select all my images, and press E to append edit them into my timeline. Final Cut Pro defaults to displaying each image for 10 seconds, and with the number of images I have, my project is over 4 hours long. What I need to do now is change the duration of each image. I'll press Shift Z to display my whole project, and press Command A to select all my clips. Now I'll press Ctrl D to bring up the duration editor. What I want to do is display one image for one frame of video. Since my project is set to 60 frames per second, my video will play 60 images in every second. In my duration editor, I'll type in 1 and press enter. I'll press shift Z again to display my whole project. As you can see, my project is now roughly 27 seconds long. Still, instead of having one time lapse clip, I have almost 2000 very short clips. This could be a nightmare if you want to use this time lapse as a part of another project. So what I'm going to do is create a compound clip. With all my clips still selected, I'll right click on any of them and choose new compound clip. Last thing I'm going to do is crop this clip to get rid of the black bars and add a Ken Burns effect to simulate camera pan. I'll make another video in the future and take a closer look at Ken Burns effect. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. As always, likes, comments and shares are always appreciated. And feel free to connect with me on Twitter or Facebook. Links in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you back next week.